Good morning, boys and girls. This is Miss Martin here, your art teacher. I sure do miss y'all. I'm gonna read to y'all a story today. This is an AR book. It's about an artist named Edgar Degas, and it's called Paintings That Dance. It's by Kristen N. Cole and Marianne Coca Leffler, one of my favorite artists, because I love to dance and I love ballet. So we're gonna learn about this artist. By the way, this is an AR book. It's the AR points, it's worth 0 0.5 points, and the level is 3.6. So when AR is up and working, um, check to see, just type in the title, Edgar Degas, Paintings That Dance, and try to take an AR quiz if you want to. Edgar Degas, my artist. Every night before I go to sleep, I look at the poster over my bed. It is a painting by Edgar Degas called The Dance Class. In the painting, some dancers are practicing while others are waiting. Their mothers are in the background watching. This painting reminds me of my ballet class. I love this poster. That is why I picked Edgar Degas for my report. But now I know that he painted many other things besides ballet dancers. Here's the poster so you can see it. See the girl biting her nails? She looks nervous. I know how she feels. My next recital is coming up soon. By the way, this is me. Young Edgar. Edgar Degas was born in Paris, France on July 19, 1834. Edgar had two brothers and two sisters. He was the oldest. His family was rich. Their house was big and fancy and filled with beautiful paintings. His father took him to many museums. Edgar liked to spend hours looking at famous paintings. When Edgar was 12 years old, he was sent away to a school for boys. It was very strict. He had to wear a uniform. He had to march to his classes. That doesn't sound very much fun to me. He went to this school for seven years. Edgar took art classes. I was surprised to learn that his marks in drawing class were not very good. Still, Edgar wanted to be a painter. The trouble was his father did not like the idea at all. He made Edgar go to law school, but Edgar quit law school. Edgar followed his dream and left home to become a painter. After a while, his father stopped trying to make Edgar be a lawyer. He sent him to the School of Fine Arts in Paris. I'm glad Edgar's father changed his mind. What do y'all predict is gonna happen next? What do you think? Let's find out. Edgar's early painting. Edgar spent a lot of time at the Louvre Museum in Paris. He also traveled to many museums in Italy. Edgar thought he could become a better artist by copying famous paintings. He tried to make his artwork look like these paintings. This painting is by the famous artist Rembrandt. He was one of Edgar's favorite painters. Rembrandt was 27 years old when he painted this picture of himself. Edgar painted this picture of himself when he was 23. This is called a self-portrait. He has on a smock and a red scarf. Doesn't he look like an artist? See, here's his artist smock and here's his red scarf. So this is Edgar Degas. And here's the narrator. This is her little self-portrait. Kind of cute. I challenge you guys, can you do a self-portrait today and email it to Miss Martin? That would be awesome. Edgar, painter for everyday life. One day, Edgar met a famous painter. He looked at Edgar's artwork. He told him to stop copying paintings in the museum. He told him to draw all the time, no matter where he was. That's just what Edgar did. He drew and drew. He took a sketchbook everywhere. He went to the opera and to the ballet. He went to the local laundry, hat shops, and cafes. These are some of Degas' paintings. Soon, Edgar's pictures began to change. He stopped painting fancy people just standing around doing nothing. Here is a painting of Edgar's brother, Achille. Achille had to stay still for hours so that Edgar could sketch and paint him. That's amazing. My brother can't sit still for two seconds. Now Edgar began to draw people doing everyday things like combing their hair, bathing, ironing, or dancing. 
Sometimes Edgar sketched the same model in different positions. Then he would put them together in one painting. In this painting, the girl combing her hair is the same girl shown three times. So this is the same girl, but shown doing different things. In 1872, Edgar took a steamship to the United States. It was a long trip from France. He visited with his relatives in New Orleans. They were in the cotton business. While he was there, he made many famous paintings. So he went from Paris over in Europe and traveled across the Atlantic Ocean all the way to the United States to New Orleans. If you're an LSU fan, you know that that's in the state of Louisiana. Edgar's two brothers are in the painting. Renee is reading the paper. Achille is leaning on the windowsill. So here's his brother, Renee. And then Achille is leaning on the windowsill. Maybe that's him. So this is a painting that he did while in New Orleans. Pretty good. Many of Edgar's friends were also painters. Their names were Claude Monet, Paul Cezanne, Mary Cassette, and Vincent Van Gogh. We've studied about him this year. He did the Starry Night and the Sunflowers. His friends liked to paint outside in the sunlight. They painted fields and mountains and flowers. That's all for part one. I'm gonna start part two in just a second.